It's Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. Um, I have a Persa I3 and uh, having a problem with uh, the distance between the hot tip and the bed. Changes on a regular basis and very hard to offset it. I have a host of different videos out there that have, I've reviewed and tried to, to no avail, so I've decided to make this one myself. Uh, first thing you do, I'm, you're not going to actually see my printer, I'll just talk about what I'm doing. Pronterface is what I use. When you download Pronterface, make sure that you get the one for, and you connect it, make sure you get the one that's for um, Windows. It's the second one down on the list, and I inadvertently got the first one and had to play around. So first of all, we got the COM settings at COM7 and speed. I had to play with the speed a little bit before it would work. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to home it. And the machine is traveling to the x-axis home switch, now the y-axis home switch. And now it goes up and down until it hits the z-axis. It's dropping down, hits the z-axis home switch. And there it is, it's home. Now what I do is I send it into the center. Now when I get into the center, I take a piece of paper and raise and lower it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up by 100 microns at a time. I'm going to sit the paper in between and right now I currently have that blue uh, tape on there. Now I'm going to start bringing it down and I wiggle it until I get a good gap. Oops, that was a mistake. And I accidentally moved the y-axis. Uh, so I bring it down until it just starts to trap the paper. Right now it's trapped it quite nicely so it's the thickness of the paper away. If I go down one more time, it's a little too tight and I'll be a little too close. Let me bring it back up. Now what I do is I look at the offset, sorry, the Z value on the printer itself. And so I'm looking at the little blue screen on the printer. Mine currently says Z 0 0.200 microns. So I'm done with the printer face now. I There's other videos out there that show you how to send it from the printer face and stuff and I had uh, zero luck with that. So I'm just going to exit out of this and I'm going to now use Cura. And with the Cura, uh, all the settings are already there. I'm going to leave those settings. But with the Cura, I'm going to lo load the 3D file, bring in the part file. There's my little KV1S tank. Yes, I play World of Tanks. Uh, I lay flat, lay it right flat. And now what I do is I come into the start code, end code, end. And down here, I enter. And I revert it back to my CNC days here. What I do is I go and I go, G1, I go slow just to give the machine a chance to read. Uh, I'm going to go G1, uh, Z, and I'm going to tell it to go to Z 0 0.2, 200 microns. So exactly what I read on the screen. Then I'm going to go G92, Z0. So what it's going to do now when I print it is it's going to go in there, go right to the center, it's going to go to the zero. This is going to create, so this will be the zero. It will zero it now. So it's going to be 200 microns above the, pla the platen. Now, it'll start that this way, it, you get, it's the same every time. So every time you go, you, you're basically recalibrating it first. It makes things a lot easier. Now, if I go to run it and it's a little too close to the table, I can come in here into advance. And if you look at the advance, this is the quality initial layer thickness so if it's too close the, it, you know I, I the paper was too, too tight on the paper or something and the nozzle still too t close and it's touching the bottom and not doing well what you can do is you can you can cheat and bump that up to say 400 microns or whatever or if it's too high you can go down to 200 microns so you can do a fine adjustment here so this offsetting it this way I've had major success I've run about 25 30 times now uh, I've, I've set it up to five millimeters uh, zeroed it at five millimeters and then it came in and, and ran five millimeters in the air the same thing I went to 10 millimeters and so on so reverting back to the old G codes the only negative thing is uh, thus far I haven't been able to uh, go into uh, Cura and have it save these settings so all I'm going to do is do this video and leave it on my computer for the kids to read and they can just come in there and do it themselves. I may well leave this on the on a notepad on the on the desktop, but for the time being this is the way it's going to work and uh, should work just fine.